right you see the corner is being deconstructed which is very good with a bit of transparency from here here and here this could actually look good as a building right because this is a drawing you're designing by drawing okay you know water mirror here simple alley um, you know trees and shrubs Okay, let's look at the cube house. I don't know what this is doing here. This is a prism house. It's not supposed to be here. This is a cube house. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's go uh, and uh, talk about the three principles behind any building, any house rather. Okay, number one, you need to mark the entrance. Okay, so when you look at something like this, you need to know where you are going to go in. You know, like where's the entrance, you know, like, you can be very subtle at a certain stage, but until you get there, you need to be in people's faces. The problem here is that this little thing is too wide. It just destroys, it takes something away from the, the building itself, right? Okay, next up, um, use only free materials. So I recommend... Let's see, no, bad picture. You only use free materials. Number one. Um, concrete, right, so plain white concrete, standard, standard, uh, you know, finish. Number two, a textured material, be it wood or, you know, metal cladding or anything else. Number three, let me just put a little two here, number three, uh, glass, so you show the intersection of volumes. Okay, this is a good example here, right, you see the corner is being deconstructed which is very good with a bit of transparency from here, here and here. This could actually look good as a building. Okay, so you've got an obvious, right? Because the building is going in, you obviously have a, a, a clarity on where the access is. Uh, you've got this this thing on um, basically a textured material that seems to go around like so. Let me just color this with a different color. Well, it seems to go around like so. It follows in the foreground as well. Okay, and then the glass keeps everything together. Very good. Oh, this is a prison building. Not good. Right, so the cube house. Fairly simple. Man, I should be a bit more disciplined with this. It's full of prison buildings. Um, regardless. Um, the cube house. It should keep the proportions of a cube and express that like this here this is a very good uh, drawing but it's not a good cube house it's good here because it's very subtle it's got a good marking at the entrance uh, this is like the third material it's a weird uh, you know, red stuff whatever cladding which is all good but you're not expressing a cube here it needs to be a bit more bulky right to express that principle this is actually better although the graphics are a bit weird um, that's just the reality of it, you know, when, uh, when the graf graphics aren't good enough, they just stand out. Okay. Uh, for the cube house, just a 10 meter, 10 by 10 by 10 cube. Man, I don't like these. I want them to be uh, parallel. Just go up one meter equals five steps, right? So you go like bam, 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 five steps. And then 0 0.6 meters at the top for the terraced uh, roofing. Okay. And then whatever's left in between, you divide that by three and you get the levels. Okay. This could be good. Kind of dodgy. Kind of not expressing the cube. Uh, don't get me wrong. You know, there's, there's not a drawing here that doesn't have effort put into it. Okay. It's actually very good. Right. If it could have like a little wing, just a little wing here, just to make everything stand out a bit more. You know, like just mark the entrance just a bit more. And this being a bit taller. Okay. This is actually good, although it's weird. It's cool. good. Weird buildings are sometimes good buildings. Sometimes they're just weird. Yeah. But again, the, the cube is missing here. Um, yeah, it could be. It has like the entrance marked by this thing at a third. 
One other thing I would like you to do when you're studying this is just to basically start to sorry to use the um, jump to approach, right? I call I coined that. So it's basically um, starting off with three thumbnail sketches, then jumping to the facades, um, as in putting uh, the final idea right to scale, then jumping to an axonometric. There we go. Then when you feel stuck here, jumping to the perspective, then jumping back to the facades, right? You build up your idea by, by jumping from one drawing to one type of drawing to another. Okay. Another thing that's very, very important is these thirds. Um, this is a nice detail here. Maybe make this bulkier, you know, just with a small cut at the top here. It will look closer to a cube. Um, this is good. It's got a strong L. And then with a couple of cuts here, right? Hopefully you're taking notes, right? Because if you, this is just going to save you a lot of uh, hustle, or hassle rather. You will hustle more. I can tell you that because you'll feel more confident in your skill set. Um, when you feel confident in, uh, in uh, what you can do, you you just um, obviously want to do it more, right? Uh, careful with the symmetry you see there's like this looks like a face okay you don't want faces you want stuff that's close to thirds right so maybe <clears throat> one second and maybe just dematerialize this a little cut here you know what I mean it has to make sense also careful not to cut too much up the building because basically this is a huge cut right your what one second you're wasting space here, right? You want to bring this forward, okay? Always try to bring things as forward as possible in your drawing, right? Because this is a drawing. You're designing by drawing, okay? Again, the happy face, yay, right? No, no good. But this here is, is very good. This could work. Not sure how it's functioning on the inside, but uh, it seems good as an image. This could be good as well. It's got an L like this, and if you could chuck in another L like so, right, and connect both of them, right? We're talking about building tectonics here, right? To create a building that basically looks like it's held together by glass, it's bulky, and so on. Okay, this is kind of a standard approach, could work. Um, but again, where's the cube? And I think the height here is messed up. Uh, I'm not... I don't want to be harsh with my students. You know, I know it's hard work to get this um, to work for you. Right? You are going to struggle because you need to put in graphics, ideas. It's different, right? But I know you can make it happen. This is good as well. Although I don't recommend you have like the whole floor made out of glass like this. This makes it look like it's a mushroom, you know, like a magic mushroom. You don't want that. You want a building that's slightly anchored to the ground, okay? Oh, yeah, this is weird. I think this is a prism house as well. And the graphics are off as well. This could be good. That's slightly too, um, it's missing the bulkiness, okay? You could connect this like so. By the way, these ideas just come from experience. You can't really trick them. Um, just watch my stuff or interact with me and um, it's like the information is going to, to be transferred in a way. It's weird, but that's how life works, right? You'll get my, uh, my wisdom just by interacting with my stuff. Okay, so... Um, yeah, this could have like a little wall here to mask a bit of the corner so it's not too much glass. Don't forget it's housing. So housing, uh, you know, want people seeing you in your you know, bum, you know, prancing around in your house, right? You do want something to, uh, you know, to cover things up. Bum naked, right? Uh, yeah, this is good. It, it is slightly symmetrical. I would take it to one, uh, you see? You see the local symmetry, it's built into the uh, human way of doing things, okay? So don't worry too much about it, just um, stop it every time you notice it, okay? You see, I, I made a symmetry as well for this. It's crazy, right? 
even you know with how many houses and sketches I did I still get it right that's why you need to always correct that's why you need to jump from one drawing to the other hopefully you've taken notes by now right this isn't just entertainment this is uh, has like a lot of um, you know, intellectual value for you this could have benefit this could benefit from some you know gaps you know like really small windows punched holes like something right, this isn't too bad it's very it's intimate yeah this this could benefit from some windows cube house yeah this is good so you see the corners are marked with a very aggressive cut and you've just got a little accent here yeah it's minimalistic but it works it's very delicate as well uh, going back to graphics this is good graphics it's decent it's nothing special nothing bad um, just cast shadows um, try to tell a story with the entourage, so maybe have a you know, water mirror here, it's a simple alley, uh, you know, trees and shrubs, um, very melancholic here, my student, um, and just focus on the building, so basically when you're colouring, just colour the building more, right, if you put red all over, then it's not that impressive, you need to put maybe a complementary on this, so you get like a stronger focus on the building. This doesn't really look like a cube house, but it could work. It's got this weird thing, yeah, this could work. Kind of deconstructivist. Yeah, simple stairs and like a, a, a weird railing. Yeah, yeah, could work, could work. Access towards the first floor. Yeah, could work. This one's actually better, right? Because it's just got, you know, you don't want to stand out through you know techniques you want to stand out through the intrinsic value the intrinsic architectural value of your drawing so maybe just make this stand out like so okay graphics wise you see black and white and a focus on uh, on the windows uh, i don't know about this maybe just make this shorter or maybe go make it like vertical like a vertical cut um, this is good. So again, marking the corner and adding a different volume here. Could work. Right, Prism House. Right, and you see that, uh, yeah, even with markers, you can draw with markers. Just fill in the shadowed face and then obviously again focus on the house. The problem here with this, the alley is becoming too, um, too wide. And what you want is to add, you know, like people and stuff. This type of graphics is very, very good, like with a marker. Very, very good, right? It gives you that clarity. And this is a good idea as well, very dynamic. Could benefit maybe from like a horizontal dominant here. And that kind of attracts, attracts you towards the inside. Okay, so hopefully you've taken notes. Uh, if not, just uh, note down three things that you learned from this short video. And, uh, yeah just follow through with your drawing put everything together the drawing the design the architecture okay and um yeah don't forget about what vitruvius said f u v firmitas utilitas venustas right structure utility how beautiful it is how it looks like it looks like okay all three things need to be addressed okay in your draw in your drawings and in your designs which is kind of a complex uh, topic but we will get there okay um right start with one of these sketches if it's easier for you if not um, so i welcome you to my uh, courses where we will learn how to do all these things as fast as possible no pitfalls no uh, wasting time no creative blockages cool talk to you soon take care draw nicely so if you want to take your architectural drawing and design skills to levels you never thought possible, get that portfolio for architecture school, get those skills that you can learn from uh, going to university, then visit me on my website, freehandarchitecture.com. I've got a fair bit of information here. You can see a couple of my students' drawings, uh, what they did, how they progressed. You also have um, free videos, free lessons. This is me sketching here from the live lessons. We are going to talk about architecture, interior design, product design, design, architecture history, landscape design, urban design, everything. Have a look at the courses here. 
right? They cheered on my website. If you are really, really determined, then uh, feel free to click on the little box on the right and drop me a line. I'll get back to you within 24 hours and we are going to start the architecture drawing lessons after. Take care, draw nicely.